Welcome back, everybody. The best adaptive and parasurfing athletes from across the country are hitting the waves right now in beautiful Oceanside. They're competing in the 2021 Toyota USA Surfing Parasurfing Championship. And this morning, we have a couple professional surfers joining us live on the air. We have Christian, also known as Otter, and wave ski surfer Elena Nichols joining us. How are you guys doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're doing great. Thanks. I, Thanks so for having us. It's great to have you on. Uh, have you either one of you surfed in Oceanside before? Uh, yeah, we've actually had this championship out here for uh, for adaptive for the last going on six years now. So we surf this every year and it's always a phenomenal time when we can come back to Oceanside. Nice. And how has it been uh, just looking at the waves here this morning? Does it look OK? <laughs> Looks nice. Yeah, I mean, the uh, swell's picking up a little bit from yesterday, so I think we're going to have a great day of competition. All right. I'm so over here. Dro I'm drooling right now. <laughs> I'm from Reno, so it's good to be back at the ocean. <laughs> I love it. You're drooling. Yeah, you have the mountain views, not so much the beach views. So it's nice uh, that you guys are here in town. So let's talk about what's going to be happening today. Uh, Elena, we'll start with you. What's your competition going to be? Tell us about this event. Yeah, so Parasurfing Nationals, we have every one, the best U.S. surfers here, all vying for a spot on the U.S. team that will later compete at a world team competition. So I compete in the wave ski division. I'm actually in a wheelchair. So is Christian. And I sit on top of a board, I strap in, and I use a kayak paddle actually to catch the waves, whereas Otter actually lays on the board prone and paddles himself. Uh, laying down ah. and my division the wave ski division is really exciting i love what i do because i feel like i'm kind of standing but sitting on the board if that makes sense okay um i'm okay. competing against all boys today so cheer for me <laughs> yeah um and i'm hoping to uh actually defend my national title i Last time I competed here, I beat all the boys. So not That's bragging, awesome. just saying. <laughs> and, and it's not like you're a longtime surfer, right? You got into uh, adaptive surfing after your accident. Tell us a little bit about that, if you don't mind. Yeah, no, I don't mind. I broke my back in a snowboarding accident in 2000. So I was 17 years old, 20 years ago. Um, always an athlete. I was grateful to get back into adaptive sports. I uh, started playing wheelchair basketball and then uh, was also an alpine ski racer for a number of years for the Paralympic team. After a couple of really hard falls on the snow, I decided I would give parasurfing a try. It kind of changed my life, as a lot of the adaptive surfers here will tell you. Right. It really is so special and really therapeutic, actually. So finding myself out on the water really was kind of a life-changing experience. Um, oh. And you know, what a great way to be able to express your athletic talent than to compete. So for sure. really grateful for Toyota supporting this event and USA Surfing. Mm -hmm. um, really grateful that they've all believed in adaptive surfing and um, create opportunities for us to I love compete. that. Yeah, that's an amazing opportunity, of course. And uh, for you guys, obviously, athletes, you don't want to stop that, right, uh, after action. Accident. So, Otter, let's bring you into this conversation. You're prone on the surfboard. Uh, tell us what that feels like for you. Um, you can essentially call it like the most high performance boogie board ever developed. Um, <laughs> okay. uh, every adaptive surfer, you know, we always work with custom shapers to um, build surfboards that allow us to amplify our abilities, um, you know, compared to a regular surfer. So, it's really awesome and uh, yeah, my particular division, I lay flat on the board with handles on the top and steer, okay. you know, like a boogie board. And you surfed when you were younger, right, before your accident? Yeah, I was, uh, I've been a professional surfer and skateboarder now for 29 years. Okay. Uh, I was actually got hurt uh, while filming a skateboarding video, professional skateboarding video in 2006, um, and have subsequently uh, joined the adaptive pro ranks and um, trying to get our sport eventually included in the Paralympics. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's such a big part of this. Uh, hopefully, surfing will be a Paralympic sport. We know surfing's in the Olympics here coming up, too, so that's a big deal. Uh, but, you know, you guys are such inspiration. Just hearing you talk about what you're able to do and uh, what you love doing is beautiful to hear, and I'm glad that you're out there here in Oceanside to enjoy our beaches. So it's good to see you guys this morning. Thanks for being on. Uh, go out and support them. They're out in Oceanside. Cheer them on. Good luck. You guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs>